Welcome to German history with a German accent. My name is Wolf, W-O-L-F, just like the animal. And in today's video, I'm speaking about Wilhelm Canaris. As always, if you enjoy these videos, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button. Wilhelm Franz Canaris was born on January 1st in the year 1887 in Aplebeck, a son of Karl Canaris and Auguste Canaris. While planning his future military career, during his time in school, his father urged him to join the cavalry, although Wilhelm Canaris wished to join the Imperial Navy. When his father passed away in 1904, his mother Augusta signed Wilhelm up to be a sea cadet in the year 1905. Canaris spent the first year of duty on the SMS Stein before he was transferred to the small cruiser Bremen in the year 1907. While serving on the Bremen, he helped the commander of the Bremen to establish an intelligence network in Argentina as well as Brazil. He was described as a small, modest person who was introverted, a very ambitious man whom had it in him to become a good officer. Since 1911, Wilhelm Canaris served on board the SMS Dresden, with whom he shipped into the Middle Sea as well as Mexico by the end of 1913, where German citizens were protected during the Civil War. Four days before the First World War started, the Dresden was located at a port in Port-au-Prince in Haiti and was ordered to move back before the orders were changed to attack enemy ships in the Atlantic Ocean. In the South Atlantic, near Argentine waters, the Dresden was able to organize more fuel due to Canaris' connections to the intelligence network that he helped to establish. The SMS Dresden was able to sink two British cargo ships before they escaped into the Pacific Ocean after Canaris' men had warned them about the oncoming Royal Navy. For these efforts, Canaris was awarded the Iron Cross Second Class. On March 14, the year 1915, Wilhelm Canaris was interned in Chile after the Royal Navy was able to isolate the Dresden that scuttled her itself. In August 1915, Canaris managed to escape captivity in Chile and make his way to Buenos Aires in Argentina, from where he traveled to Amsterdam on board of a Dutch cargo ship concealed as a Chilean citizen. He arrived in Hamburg on October 4th, year 1915. In November of the same year, he was ordered to build up a new network of agents in Spain to organize supply and information about naval warfare in the Middle Sea. While he tried to travel back to Germany, he was arrested by Italian troops, but managed to escape again. For his achievements in Spain, he was awarded the Iron Cross First Class in October 1916. In the last two years of the First World War, Wilhelm Canaris served as a submariner in the Middle Sea, ranked as a Kapitänleutnant, corresponding to the rank of Lieutenant in the United States Navy. After the First World War had ended, Canaris started to work closely with Freikorps as well as other organizations against the Weimar Republic. During the 1920s, Wilhelm Canaris participated in the building of new intelligence networks in Spain with the goal to have them build submarines for the Reichsmarine. While he served on board of the small cruiser Berlin, he met Reinhard Heydrich, whom I made another video about. In the year 1928, the secret deal between Germany and Spain became public and the German Minister of Defense had to step down from his posts. In order to protect Wilhelm Canaris, he was transferred to serve on the ship Schlesien, which he would take of command over in the year 1932, ranked as Kapitän zur See, equivalent to the rank of captain in the US Navy. During these times, Canaris was a convinced National Socialist and in favor of Adolf Hitler. On January 2nd in the year 1935, Wilhelm Canaris became the chief of the Abwehr, the military intelligence service, 
where he became a rival of the chief of the Sicherheitsdienst SD, Reinhard Heydrich. Canales played a role in the German support of Franco's troops in the Spanish Civil War. During the end of the 1930s, Wilhelm Canales started to distance himself from Adolf Hitler, having up their offices visiting concentration camps to show the cruelty of the National Socialist regime. During the Blomberg Fritsch affair, Canales openly sided with Werner von Fritsch, whom was forced to step down from his posts since he was falsely discredited as a homosexual. I talk more about the Blomberg Fritsch affair in a separate video. Together with Franz Halder, Wilhelm Canales planned a coup d'etat in the year 1938 to avoid a post possible war. After the Second World War had started, Canaris helped several Polish people to escape into a neutral Swiss Switzerland. He also had Abwehr officers collect material and evidence about the crimes the SS and the Gestapo committed. He transmitted these materials to several field marshals. After an initial success working on the Eastern Theater, Wilhelm Canaris was fired as chief of the Abwehr in February 1944, after the Abwehr had failed numerous times. Some of these failures were yet intended by Wilhelm Canales. In the following time, Heinrich Himmler was ordered to create a new intelligence service, which would be called Auslands SD. Canales was arrested after the July 20th plot on the 23rd of July in 1944. He ended up in the concentration camp Flossenburg where he was hung on April 9th, the year 1945, at the age of 58. Thank you so much for watching.